So let's talk about this trial. You and I have tried a lot of cases through the course of our respective careers. We know what it's like to have a pending trial date. What a lot of people need to understand is trial dates get set so you can work back from that trial date, right? So let's just say this case is set for trial in December. Deadlines get set in order to make it to trial in December. What is your call in terms of what you think Aileen Khan is going to do? She originally set an August trial date. So people need to remember, she set an August trial date in this case. The DOJ is asking to continue from that August trial date to December. How realistic do you think it is that Aileen Cannon says, eh, that's another four plus months, and I agree with the DOJ? Well, I think this is Judge Cannon 2.0. This is not the Judge Cannon of last year when all eyes were on her and she ruled every time for Donald Trump and then had to get repudiated by the conservative 11th Circuit Court of Appeal. Well, now I think she's been chastened, and I do not think that she is going to give Trump his request to postpone this case indefinitely. I think the DOJ's request for December is a bit uh, expedited, but I think that Canada is more likely to postpone the trial bit by bit, like she's given postponements, or at least her magistrate has for Walt Nada to get an attorney. Essentially, it could be death by a thousand paper cuts where this thing could get delayed little by little. But to give Trump what he wants, to say postpone it indefinitely until after the election, I think is ridiculous. And I think that would get her reversed by the 11th Circuit. Well, I'm glad you brought that up because in the Department of Justice's reply in support of its continuance, it actually cites to that 11th Circuit activity that happened because Trump's side says, oh, there's all these novel issues of law that need to be resolved before we can actually get a trial date, to which the DOJ says, oh, those novel issues of law, they've been made, they've been dealt with by the 11th Circuit already when Aileen Cannon got reversed. Do you think, though, that Aileen Cannon is going to actually have an out provided to her, seeing how the DOJ does cite to SEPA, the Classified Information Procedures Act, to be able to give time to Donald Trump's side to be able to process all these classified documents. Yeah, I, I do think it's going to be tough to try this case before the election because of SEPA, because of all the classified documents. You've got to get clearances. And look, the tie always goes to the defendant. They, they're always going to give the defendant more time when they need it based on a Sixth Amendment right to a fair trial. But what they shouldn't give is an indefinite postponement. And so I think that it's going to be tough for Jack Smith to try this case uh, sooner than later. Uh, but I still think it's possible before the election, just not uh, all that likely. I mean, Trump's strategy all along is to delay, delay, delay. And so, you know, his comments about what what is that comment you, you mentioned um, earlier is just is just ridiculous, where he's trying to clearly say that, look, although my arguments are against the law, they're novel. I want to try that, Katie. I want, as a prosecutor, to go against the law and to say to a court, no, 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 I'm not going against the sitting law. This is a novel argument. And so you have to consider, no, wrong is wrong. And Trump is just trying to deliver.